control over it. Did it just get darker? Okay. Enter the ruins. Well, welcome back. I don't know if this is part of a new part or just a new segment, but in case it is, here we are. I swear that this storm is spreading out from the mountain. But uh, we got to enter the ruins. Ex Cathedra. Cathedra. Oh, okay. Okay, because maybe it was just cloudy in general. Maybe it's about to rain. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little bit since the last time. Um, trying to remind myself what's going on. Make sure I have no new notes. Oh, I do have some new notes. Uh, too close. Damn it, that was too close. The general can't know. Nobody can know, but especially him. Because, because... Don't ask what that weird noise was. Because, because, I don't know why, I just have a terrible feeling. He already thinks I'm his girlfriend or wife or something. He heard Gwyn. Oh my god, I thought this is it. I gave him oblivion and lots of other jolly things. And I got him dancing, which usually takes his mind off. But you never know with him. He's like a bloody great freight train. He doesn't derail easily. He shouldn't remember unless there's some surprise drug interaction. He won't remember if there's a god, which if there is, if there was, I wouldn't be in this situation, would I? No god would be that petty. Ow, I wonder what he made me take. Not painkillers for sure. Oh, man, that's just... So she's talking about the encounter with uh, General Bing, who showed up. Robert Bing, I believe is his name. And, uh... She gave him oblivion and other things, so either she, uh, so if she's been doing this regularly, either this guy is, like, completely, um, built up a tolerance to her stuff, or she really is, uh, mixing a concoction together that he's not, not very aware of. Arthur! How did I miss these for so long? I ran into Arthur on the street! He's exactly the same, I guess, because he was always a little formal, those big black... Uh, French, 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 French glasses. Keeping his jacket on after school, even on hot days. Only now he's grown into himself and he looks amazing. I can't remember what I said. I insulted him, apparently. It's always so easy. I thought... <laughs> oh, you gotta look at the spelling of thought. I thought he had chopped my head off. What was I supposed to tell his dad? No, you're practically my stepfather. That would have gone over Brillo. Damn it. What is Arthur up to? Another implausible scheme. He's going to get he's going to get killed. I wanted to much I wanted too much to I wanted too much to say, "Help. I've got a bloody baby." But he was so awful. All I could get out was, "Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry." And I want to help you. And who even knows if he heard any of it? I've got to find him. When we're together, we're unstoppable. Arthur and Sally. Sir Galahad and the Lady of the Lake. The two musketeers. Maybe on another day he'd listen to reason. He's on the old swings thinking a lot, he said. In the garden district. He did say that. Say what you will about our starvation diet. At least we're all off the smokes. He'd help. He'd make a fuss, but in the end he'd help. He can't help if he's too decent. If I just told him. But I can't trust him. People change. Except for me. I'm always the same. I wish Gwen were his. Then she'd be smart for sure and not evil at all. Oh. Her note is not contradictory and self-pitying. Well, I mean, it's a little self-pitying. But it's not like contradictory and super guilt-ridden and self-questioning the, in the same way that Arthur's was. And we know that Arthur was still occasionally coming down from his much longer uh, joy use than Sally was. I don't need to pick up anymore. So that leads me to think that Sally's view of the world, while in certain aspects are a little bit more, I was going to say innocent, but let me just say slightly hopeful and optimistic. She's not stupid by any means, but maybe 
So she's not stupid. She's not naive. <laughs> she's certainly not naive about a lot of things. So I'm wondering if she's just if she's got a more accurate representation of what's going on in the world than Arthur does. And again, that's me kind of that's me kind of harping on Arthur, but I, I apologize for that. But uh, she really, I mean, in her note, she really wants to be with him. She really likes Arthur still. She wishes that the baby, which let's face it, I mean, she was probably in a situation where saying where no was not a very good, healthy option for her. And, but she wishes it was Arthur that was in her life and stuff. You know, and she's got a whole point. What was she supposed to do about Arthur's dad? She's like, she is 16 years old, invited into this household after her mother has murdered her whole family and every other child and person of her age are shipped off to Germany. Arthur is the closest person to her age around. We, we assume there might have been someone slightly older, but we already know that she didn't get along with girls and other boys were going to cause problems. And then all of a sudden, she's got this guy who takes her in, this older guy, old enough to be her dad, literally. And he, 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 he is the instigator. Um, never outright says it, but we, we know that's the case. And Arthur can't get past that, even after, I think it's 15 years to realize that his dad did bad things and it wasn't her fault I don't know now Arthur Arthur is a troubled man scorch marks did somebody blow it up we saw how the butterfly Arthur. survived so um, last time we came to the train station it was still relatively okay I can't pick up these mushrooms. I could really use them. It was still relatively okay. These guys had just shown up and were starting to cause problems. But obviously some bad stuff has happened since then. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. For some reason, I don't like moving when the character, when the uh, screen on a game is shaking. Is it just me? I really had to push myself with Arthur in the end of his when the, he's in the caves and it was shaking. That's a re uh, re re uh, re uh, not repeating motif, reappearing motif. The whole London Bridge. Blake. Yay, butterflies. What's it say about the person who runs around with the butterfly net? You get it? It's kind of an old joke. You could hear it a lot in old 60s sitcoms and stuff. <gasps> Fucking a bucket. I'm not getting out that way. Oh, I'm not? No? Oh, you could... I could climb out of that, and I'm in terrible shape. Oh, but, but, Sally. I know you're in better shape than me. Hey, a memory. See, this room was pretty nice when we came in, you know. Now it's just wrecked. Do, do, do. I wonder if I'll have to platform. It's just a feeling I have. Delicate flowers. Why does it say steel? Oh, there's that list. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. I'm going to pretend you never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where well, you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? You know, I could have, I could have supported the mother all the way until like that last sentence, and then she, she had to add that one little. There's a, 
There's a joy pill all the way out here in the garden district? What? What madness is this? Okay, let's platform. I mean, she had to just add that little jab in there, didn't she? <gasps> you know, it's great when you're miserable and you could really use a shoulder. There, are you? you think I can't climb in these heels? You're wearing boxing shoes. Um, it's really great when you, like, need a shoulder to lean on and you're... Oof, I really didn't think that was going to work. Can I just... Can I just... Okay. Um, you're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, really great if you need a shoulder to lean on or you're really sad and miserable and you just need someone to talk to and you got your... And, and then you go and jab at them. Get away from me! No! Ah! Bloody hell. How much time do actors spend doing, working on, like, their, their death yells? I mean, you don't hear a lot of good ones. I, I, granted, I can't remember his name, but like the guy who does the audio books for a lot of the uh, Terry Pratchett books, I <laughs> love the death scene from, uh, um, is it Witches Abroad? No, it's not Witches Abroad. It's the, the one instead where they go and they go to, oh man, it's been a long time. Ankh more pork. Ankh more pork? That doesn't sound right. Ankh more Ankh more pork. Anyways, they go they go and they do a you know big Phantom of the Opera parody and I love the uh, death scene towards the end. Especially <laughs> You know what I hate about opera? When it takes a Really long time for someone to die. They just keep going on and on and on. Why is he dying? The sword's just under his armpit. Don't worry, it's opera. Don't question it. I need more butterflies, don't I? Yeah. Well, I don't see any crazies over here, so... Highly contagious! Yeah, we kind of got that. But even on hard mode, Sally hasn't gotten infected yet. Yay! She's died about a dozen times, but we're not gonna... Who screamed? Is that the rats? There's like a little scream sound effect that keeps getting cut off. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, um, I need five more. Can I jump? I mean, this game's weird sometimes. Okay, well, crunch. How does one get up there? I kind of want to just get those guys out of the way. I can. I have my knockout sword. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't want them all at once. I should be able to get a couple with the knockout syringes. Ah, okay. I haven't been over here. Get it. There we go. Well. You wouldn't survive the winter anyway. Oh, two? Cool. I'm going to call that a good glitch. Now, if only Sally was mechanically inclined, then she'd have a dark gun. Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, can I jump anywhere from here? Not really. I think I came from that way, right? We're going to go ahead and say yes. Yeah. Okay. That works. Ooh. 
Okay, if we can get another double one right here. I said... Okay, that didn't work. You seem familiar somehow. And a canteen. Reduces crier. Specifically crier. You can't see it was down behind this horrible thing. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it, it reduces crier suspicion. I love that it's specifically that one. And even more specifically while playing a Sally. Because I noticed in other people's playthroughs as well. That for some reason Sally just triggers the criers. Okay, so I know there's a butterfly behind the group, or a group of butterflies. Can I sneak up on you? Can I... Yeah. Yes, I could just bash them all. They're already infected with plague. I'm very probably going to die. Are they in a circle? No. Okay. I was able to use a knockout syringe before. I really don't want to lose the good cleaver. Oh, those two are practically broken. This is heavy. I can't use heavy. Dang it. I definitely don't want to resort to using a stick. Why can't I use the knockout? Is it the angle? Oh, dang it. Now, I wonder if I can be clever. You gotta go the right way to be clever. Ah, wait, no, come over here. Oh. Just don't return to your home position. And certainly don't come around. Jeez. Not three, not three. Dang it. Mm. There's got to be a better way. Okay. Now, come on over here. Come on. There we go. You can't. Why did I fall off? Why did I fall off? Oh, man. And then you can't have your torch pulled up right away. Oh, jeez. Torch flashlight. Okay, you're bleeding. Could you bleed faster? Could you please bleed faster? Please don't. <sighs> okay. I would have preferred to have jabbed them all. The game wouldn't let me use my knockout syringes on them. So, oh well. Come on, Sally can use some more of those mushrooms. She can craft stuff with them. No? Okay, now there was a chest over here. I don't think I opened the chest. Did I? Did I open the chest? How am I lost? How am I already lost? Okay. I was lost. But 
then I was found. Oh, I already checked it. Okay, that's fine. It's all good. Hmm, interesting crate lid over here. They already check you? Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, fine. We're here for butterflies. Now, how do I get out of here? Use the key I just gave you. Alright, just double checking. Right. Leave no... Okay, that's, that's not the exit. Um, I guess I could look at a marker. Oh, good. It's just right here. <sighs> Come on, Sally. We could climb that. I know you. Hello? I love this lock. It is the only lock. I'm pretty sure it's the only lock like this in the game. A giant padlock. That's not linked through anything, connected to a very fat saw blade. Uh. See, the lock doesn't even... <laughs> this is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. Supposedly, I can find butterflies in the wilderness. In previous playthroughs, I have not seen a whole lot of butterflies in the wilderness. And I'm not sure what you all you can craft with them. Well, you can make pheromone. Okay, well, that's... And you can make hallucinex. I think that's about all you can make with them. Digitalex. Chlorine. I can make more antidote for some reason. So... Oh, I can make an eager cleaver? Is it going to have no durability on it? Nice! It took like my two cruddy ones and made one good one. Awesome! For once the game did something... Well, not for once, but... <laughs> so I can make go-go juice if I... If I use that horrible extractor... On uh, some people. That's a new one. What's this do? Counteracts joy. Again, it's kind of like I, you kind of wish she had some of this starting out on her, on her path because by the time you can start really making them, you don't need them anymore. So I'm gonna do a quick look around, see if I can find some more butterflies notes and other fun stuff and if I can't then I will meet you back whenever I do the next big thing whatever that is not the bees butterfly oh butterfly where can I find those butterflies? I just want some more butterflies. I could use some butterflies. Okay, strange quest marker. What do you have for me? Is it in here? God. Sounds like someone's having a terrible life. Tell me you're out here too. I'm just visiting. Well, 
Aren't you lucky? You got a bad batch. Oh god, the eyes! Make them stop! Oh, it's the eyes again. There was an accident at the lab. Bill didn't get his gas mask on fast enough. Let me sleep, oh god, please! You know, Dr. Verloc keeps Been trying there. to make your Blackberry. Keeps jiggering around the formula for coconut, but it's never quite right. Not based on coconut. It's not based on any of the flavors. Well, you might have told Dr. Verloc that. Um, he competition. Wasn't kind to me. I left. We haven't really talked since. <gasps> please, please, no more, no more! If he could just sleep, I think he'd get better. Can you give him some sleep? I can give him something to knock him out, but it's risky. I don't know what's going on. At least help him sleep, for God's sake. All right. I'll do what I can. Fun fact, most sleep aids, well, for one, they're called aids for a reason. They, uh... They don't really help you sleep very well. He'll sleep for a while now. I hope. I crafted some earlier. He's so many eyes. There, there, sweetie. Rest if you can. I don't understand. That should have knocked him out. Before we had to leave the village, I bought some quietropine. Mr. Adams had some on the top shelf. That made the eyes go away for a while. Until they came back. They were gone until they weren't. Was that yours? Did you make it for Mr. Adams when you were still his shop girl? Before you traded up to Dr. Verloc? Dottie, it wasn't like that. Anton was so smart, what? so... I mean, he was stylish. I'd never met anyone like that. And you were just an innocent little chemist's girl. And Dr. V just swept you off your feet. Why is Are everyone you... so mean? Jealous. Will you give him some quietropine? It's not easy to make. And it's dangerous. Everything he sees has eyes on it. Has he been taking anything else? Aside from the knockout I just gave him. You can't take it if you've been taking anything else. He hasn't taken anything else. Where would we get anything? There's no corner chemist here. There isn't even a corner. You know, the only other place I've heard um, a pharmacy called a chemist is in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You might think it's a long way to the chemist shop, but... So is that... Okay, so I, I have to make... What do I need to make? I gotta make Hallucinex. Is that the... Oh, no... That's the one that takes the butterflies, isn't it? Yeah? Did I mention I was going to look around for butterflies? I guess I'm going to be looking around for some butterflies. <sighs> I see some butterflies. Boy, that's uh it's one. But I think I see some more. We have some more butterflies. We I wish you could have met Grandmum. Not over dinner though. Oh. Okay, we got some more butterflies. Um where? Where? I'm not used to. Oh, look at that! I'm already cool. Again. Again. Got some more. It would seem one of the perks I leveled up for her is uh, giving me some extras. Uh, let's see. I just picked up. I had twenty. Picked up two more. Yep. I'm up to twenty-four. If I can get twenty-five, I'll. I'll stop. That'll give me enough. For sure. Ah. Look at that. That's going to be number 25 and 26, I assume. Whee! Alright, well, let's make some Hallucinex. You know. Can't imagine what 
Hallucinex does. Well, I've got a Hallucin-Gin recipe, and then this is a Hallucinex, so maybe it's like nixing the Hallua. The Halloween. I don't know. The Hallu. And I bet it takes an advanced crafting table. Need upgraded chemical crafting table. Awesome. Don't worry about the uh, combat music. Just wanted to disable that joy thing that was right next to the house. So I definitely need to have at least two pheromone currently in combat. Right. Okay. Definitely need at least two of the pheromone. Where to go? There it is. Maybe I'll get lucky and she makes. Ta da! I don't think I can really do anything else with it. Hallucinex! Ta da! What did I run out of? Bleach. Yeah. Not surprised. Okay. So I've got Hallucinex. Now, what was the other thing I can make with Hallucinex? A hallucinex atomizer. I'll make one. Very carefully. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy. Yeah. The whole world's gonna freak out. Yay. Oh yeah. It's more London Bridge falling down. Okay, let's go have help out the sad couple. We're way down here. Okay, that hatch isn't too far. These tracks would be so. Oh, much it's this one. Trains. No, 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 I really, really hate that hatch. Okay, and I took damage. I didn't need to be taking damage. Any memories, any memories, any memories? So you notice like Arthur had his whole garden district experience like split up between like at least two different areas and they were huge, shoot. And they were huge areas. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? Where Sally's whole garden thing is all in one spot. So maybe it's kind of like, you know, if you grow up in an area, a big, you know, kind of a roar, uh, urban area, but you're used to like all the different neighborhoods and different villages and stuff and you constantly refer to each one by their own unique names but then anyone else who shows up just is like yeah it's New York or yeah it's Louisville or whatever maybe it's kind of like that here you know maybe uh, Arthur like recognizes in his mind all the individual unique locations by their neighborhoods and the burrows and everything, whereas Sally's just like, eh, it's just all one place. Who cares? Hey, I'm back. Dottie. They've stopped whispering. Yay. I love you, Bill. The eyes have got Dotty. I'm glad. It's all dark. Get some sleep, Bill. I love you. I'll sleep now. Bye, Bill. What did you do? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. You've never really loved a man. You gave him something else, didn't you? 
I'm going back to the village now. There are some things I won't need anymore. I buried them behind this house. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, do you? So inadvertently, we we were we were just trying to help him not have negative side effects from the joy anymore, but she used our help and corrupted it into killing him. Oh, he's only unconscious. I don't buy that. But then she why is she, why is everyone blame Sally for everything? Is that what it's like to be a woman? Like, if you're doing... Don't go upstairs. If you're just doing really well at everything, or better than everyone else, like, you're gonna get... It's always just gonna be you're an evil harlot. Well, let's see what the terrible life chest has. A chem lab upgrade kit. Don't you, it's kind of like that one with Arthur where you do all this stuff where you could have used a multi-tool and then at the end of the quest. Oh, here's a multi-tool. Now that you've burned yourself on exploring, you're never going to use it. But here it is. It's not me trying to... That's not me trying to do a... Uh, British accent or anything, by the way. That's just me mocking it. Oh, I hear the doggos barking. I'd better check and see what's going on. 